In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to animate any cover art with Photoshop and After Effects. For this example, we're gonna recreate the animation I did for CJ Fly's album, The Pharaoh's Return 2, taking this cover to this animation. I've been creating cover art, editing and animating music videos and visualizers for over six years now. I've worked with artists like CJ Fly, Jay Zach, Felly, Glopdad 4000, Peter Sun, many more. Spotify canvases are kind of polarizing. Some people hate them, some people love them, but there's no question that platforms are pushing for more video to go with your music. Apple Music motion graphics are out now, Spotify canvas, it makes sense. And the best part is if you do it right, it can be used for a ton of things. It doesn't have to be just a Spotify canvas. Social media reels, stories, promo, digital posters, tons of stuff. So if you're not animating cover art, you're missing out. Let's jump right into it. So starting off, we're gonna hop into Photoshop. I got a 1920 tall by 1080 wide document, which is the sizing for a Spotify canvas. And I brought in the original cover art here for this album by CJ Fly. And then we're just gonna grab the top, hold shift and add the bottom. And let's see what generative fill can come up with to fill this in. And that's pretty good. It gives you three different options. I think the first one is the best. What I like to do is duplicate the original image so you have it, hide it, and then just merge those into one. To get rid of these birds, we're gonna add in the birds later. We're gonna use the spot healing brush tool to get rid of them for now. So just click on them. Fix this white spot too. Get rid of that bird. Very easy to do. Let's fix some of this here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm also gonna fix this little spot from the generative fill. Nice. Next, we're gonna select the subject. Let's see how it does in selecting the character here. And it did really good, actually. I'm gonna grab the quick selection tool and I'm just gonna actually grab this part of the leg here too. We don't need that. probably get some of these highlights on the side. You can also use the pen tool to go through and do this. But usually for these kind of animations, you can just use this and it's, it works fine. All right, that looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy, delete, and uh, shift command V to paste it in place on top. So now you have this behind. And we're just gonna circle around this and use generative fill to fill that in so there's a background behind the separated character now. Generate, that did pretty good. I like this background the best, but we're gonna get rid of this weird little thing here. So we will merge these, go in and grab the spot healing brush tool again, get rid of some of this stuff. And it doesn't have to be perfect, again, there's gonna be a the character on top of it. So I think that's pretty good. Now if we show the character again, there he is. And I'm just gonna block that out as well. So now we're gonna separate elements of the character. I'm using the lasso tool here for the sake of time. But what we're gonna do, for example, is grab his arm. Delete that and paste it in place. Name this arm. And then underneath the arm, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab Kyle's Real Oils, clean the brush after each stroke, and just extend this out. It does, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is gonna be under the arm, but this is just for the sake of making sure that there's no weird spots under the arm. You can fix it. Go. So now, if we move the anchor point to the shoulder and we rotate this arm, there's, there's no blank spots behind it. Good. All right, we're going to separate out this little loincloth thing. Again, I'm just using the lasso tool for speed. You can use the pen tool. You can use the lasso tool. It doesn't really matter. Grab that, copy, delete, paste on top. We're gonna name it cloth. And then underneath it, 
We're gonna use generative fill to try to fill in that spot and see how it does. And that was pretty damn good. That is pretty good. I'm gonna go, go with this one. Keep in mind that sometimes generative fill will add, spa add uh, space to your transparency. So for example, now that th this area is back in, so even though we get the cloth on top of it, this is not transparent behind there, but that doesn't really matter because we're gonna fix the legs up. Just gonna clean up the edge a little bit here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just getting rid of some of that space. And then on the arm, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna clean up the edge a bit. So now the cloth is its own entity here. I'm gonna hide the cloth for a second. And I'm going to delete this other leg. Again, just using the lasso tool, roughly drawing around it. I'm gonna delete the other leg. And I'm just gonna copy this leg so he's standing still instead of, he, instead of walking. Copy, paste, I'm gonna flip this horizontally and slide it over. And I'm just gonna erase this so it blends in. So again, we're just we're just manipulating the photo to be exactly what we want it to be. This doesn't totally matter because we're going to be behind the cloth here anyway. We can extend this leg down a bit so they're even and he's standing. And then we can merge those because he's not going to be moving. We're going to grab the cape now with the same method. Just lasso tool it out roughly. I grabbed a little too much in the bottom there, but we can erase that out after. Copy, delete, paste, ream in that cape. And then we're gonna go into the original image and just get rid of some of these excess areas. And let's try adding this back in with generative fill. Doesn't have to be the whole area, just enough that when the cape's waving, you won't see transparency behind it. Honestly, that's probably enough. But you see what I mean? Like it added white in there. So what we're gonna do, let's try to just select that, delete, and then we get the cape. And we can just bring the cape up to there. Erase that part of the cape so that's under his head there. And then on the head, we're actually going to make his eyes blink. So. As you can see, they're open now. I'm just gonna circle that, generative fill, eyes closed. Let's see what that comes up with. Again, if it doesn't come out great, you can just paint it uh, with any technique you have in After Effects or in Photoshop. It's pretty good right there, actually. So we're gonna call these eyes closed. A little lighter. So what we're gonna do is Go to camera raw filter, and we're just gonna edit this a bit so that it's darker and matches the original a little bit better, like so. All right, so now with the background here, and see how there's no shadow underneath him now? This is something that we can easily draw back in I'm just gonna grab a general soft round pressure brush. Size it up to maybe 120 or so. I'm gonna make it dark, dark brown like this. Probably go a little darker. Just do something like that. Lower the opacity a bit. And then just blur it a bunch. That it looks more natural. 
Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll be animated. All right. I thought I got rid of this. I fucking got rid of that. All right, so now we have all of our elements separated. We got the background in there. Just gonna zoom in the background just a hair. And we are ready to take this to After Effects. So save that and we're gonna hop over. So import your Photoshop as composition, retain layer styles, bring that in and then make sure you select merge layer styles into footage. And then we're gonna open that up. It'll open to the size of your Photoshop document. And now we can just start animating this. We're actually gonna first change the composition settings and make this eight seconds long, which is the maximum length of time for a Spotify canvas. Okay. And just extend these out. The eight seconds is good too, because so, you can have it kind of loop perfectly if you time it correctly with an even eight seconds. So I like to cut things in half with four, quarters with two. So for example, the eyes closed. We're just gonna make a hold keyframe here at zero. Go for maybe half a second. Have them blink. One, two, three, and zero. So now, as you can see, quick blink. Let me make the blink a little longer, four frames. And then we're gonna option click on the stopwatch and then go to property, loop out duration. And now he's blinking on a loop. It's kind of a fast blink. Let's extend it out a little bit closer to a second. Perfect. Now for the cape, we just did a simple, I'm gonna change the anchor point so that it's up here. And then we just did a simple wave warp and made the pinning on the top edge so that that mostly stays the same. We're gonna have it wave in the direction of the cape. And the wave height, we're gonna do like two. Wave width, be 100. Wave speed, let's try 0.5. Let's see how this looks. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna change the direction out a little bit. There we go. And as you can see, because the cape was cut off in the composition, it cuts it off here, but we can fix that afterwards just by making the character a little bit bigger, which might help the, the overall animation itself. Um, we're gonna do the same with the cloth. So just change the anchor point to the top where it would be pinned, add wave warp. We're gonna make pinning top edge and wave this down and in an angle a little bit, probably wave height too. Wave width 100. Do the same kind of time. Perfect. Nice, and now we can make the arm swing. So the anchor point of this is obviously gonna be the shoulder, the way the arms move. So we'll go up there. And the rotation, I'm gonna add a keyframe in the beginning. And we'll just have it start there and maybe every two seconds, swing it out. And so at four seconds, it returns to the original. We'll go easy ease on that, and then we're just gonna loop out duration on that as well. We can adjust if we need to. Let's see how that looks. Nice. Pretty simple. Now what we're gonna do grab the, everything on the body and we're gonna pre-compose that. We'll call it body. And then I'm just gonna add a breathing animation with the puppet tool. So if you go in and grab the puppet position pin tool, it's a mouthful. We're just gonna add some anchor points. I'll do the head and then add one on the chest and we're gonna add a slight breathing motion. So we'll put it there, and if you go into the mesh, deform, and you can find the individual pins. We're on puppet pin four here. So we'll start it there. Breathing is slower, so why don't we just cut this in half? 
So the inhale, I'm gonna add a pin on the neck too, so that this is just a slight up and then back down at eight seconds. And let's add some easy ease to that and see how that looks. There you go, slight chest raise for breathing. It's very subtle. You can make it less subtle if you want. We'll stick with that. You guys get the gist. And then just through YouTube, I looked up like a sandstorm overlay. So you can go in and find these things, change the blending mode or use the key light to remove the background. But we're gonna drop this sandstorm down in front here, as you can see. Can also get birds. So I'm gonna fill in the birds back in so that there's birds flying overhead as well as various lightning overlays and sparkle overlays to be sparkling on the throne and striking the throne with the lightning. So now we have something like this. And again, this is just key lighting them out using blending modes and timing it throughout the video. That's very simple. We're gonna make a new composition of the same size, the same length and call it canvas final. And you'll, you might notice something with the character doing this. See that little line, that weird little line? If you go in there into the puppet tool and go down to expansion and just crank that up, it, I don't think going too high really makes a difference, but that will get rid of that weird line in there. And to finish this up, so this is just the final, you can add camera movement, you can add a wiggle effect. I have a whole other video on the wiggle effect. I'll attach it down below. But you get something like this as the final. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it got so bright during that, but it doesn't matter. You probably weren't looking at my face anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want me to do more tutorials on how to animate cover art and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty fun to do because you can animate and you can get clients by animating cover art. You can create your own cover art, animate it for clients as your offer, so much more. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, share this with somebody who might benefit. Thank you.